Ahmadu Ibrahim Bello, commonly known as Sardauna of Sokoto, and knighted as Sir Ahmadu Bello, was a prominent Nigerian statesman. Born on June 12, 1910, he played a pivotal role in guiding northern Nigeria towards independence in 1960. Serving as the first and only premier from 1954 until his tragic assassination in 1966, Bello exerted considerable influence over national affairs for over a decade. As the leader of the Northern People's Congress, NPC, the prevailing party composed of the House of Fulani elite, Bello, with a background in the Sokoto Caliphate dynasty, initially aspired to become Sultan of Sokoto before entering politics. Born in Rabat around 1910 to Malam Ibrahim Bello, who held the title of Sarkin Rabat, Amadou received his early education at home, focusing on the Quran, Islamic jurisprudence, and Muhammad's traditions. Subsequently attending Sokoto Provincial School and Katsina Training College, he completed his schooling in 1931 and took on the role of an English teacher at Sokoto Middle School. Bello's journey in leadership began in 1934, when he was appointed district head of Rabah, later promoted to divisional head of Gusau in 1938. Despite unsuccessful attempts to become sultan in 1938, he was appointed Sardauna, crown prince, and held various significant roles, becoming chief political advisor to the sultan. Joining Jam'iyar Mutanen Arewa in the 1940s, Bello's political career gained momentum. A government scholarship took him to England in 1948 to study local government administration enhancing his governance understanding. Returning, he represented Sokoto in the Regional House of Assembly, advocating for Northern interests. In 1952, Bello won a seat in the Northern House of Assembly and became Minister of Works. His political ascent continued, and in 1954, he became the first Premier of Northern Nigeria. Leading the NPC to victory in the 1959 independence elections, he formed an alliance with Dr. Namdi Azikiwe's NCNC, establishing Nigeria's first indigenous federal government. Despite controversies surrounding his views, Bello remained steadfast in his beliefs, emphasizing the necessity of resources for successful independence. Described as a progressive conservative during his premiership, he balanced religious, traditional, and modern values, contributing to the diverse roles he fulfilled in colonial and post-independence Nigeria. Sir Amadou Bello, renowned as the Sardauna of Sokoto, implemented the northernization policy in response to a scarcity of qualified graduates from the region. Indirect rule and a lesser emphasis on Western education prevailed in the north. Following regionalization, leaders perceived an underrepresentation of northerners in the public service compared to the south. As a result, recruitment of southerners was restricted and measures were taken to advance Northerners' ranks, providing increased educational opportunities, especially in the Middle Belt region. To counter fears of Southern domination, expatriates were retained and initiatives were introduced to train Northerners. Scholarships were granted and administration courses were established in Zaria. The emphasis extended to securing Northern representation in senior federal service positions. A legislative debate in 1952 saw support from a northern traditional ruler, likening Nigeria to a compound with three houses, stressing the need for accelerated development in the north. Under Bello's leadership, institutions like the Northern Nigeria Development Corporation, Bank of the North, and Northern Nigeria Investments LTD were established. Efforts to modernize traditional Quranic education included official recognition and the introduction of secular subjects. Bello's commitment to educational objectives manifested in the creation of schools in each province in northern Nigeria. His aim was to ensure political and economic parity with the western and eastern regions. The decision to replace southerners and Europeans in the northern civil services with northerners faced opposition but reflected Bello's dedication to regional development. Tragically, Bello's tenure was cut short by his assassination on January 15, 1966, during the Nigerian coup d'etat. Despite warnings, he fell victim to Major Chukwuma Kaduna Nziogwu's coup, marking a pivotal moment in Nigeria's political landscape. Bello's legacy, 
includes the modernization and unification of northern Nigeria, commemorated by Arewa House in Kaduna. Believing in equality and endowed rights, Amadu Bello's contributions are recognized through monuments and localities named in his honor, such as Amadu Bello University in Zaria and his presence on the 200 Naira banknote. His vision, morality, and intellectual virtues endure in the annals of Nigerian history. <laughs>